Hi everyone. In the next few minutes, I will talk about the rule-based search and new innovation by Camaxon. Uh, first, I will talk about the motivation. Why, why do we need that? Because we are very good at building search engines already. Uh, there are new and growing combinational libraries coming with a huge number of structures, billions or trillions of structures. Uh, the DEL technology uh, makes available to, to create these large structures. And although it, you are able to, uh, to store them in a, in a traditional way by enumerating that number of structures, it, it will cost uh, very high and the search speed can be still very low if you add new structures. Mm, the, the typical input data, so what are the rules that, that we are talking about as rule-based search? So they are usually based on reactions. We have a reaction center, which is usually a very simple one. And there is a list of reactants not that a huge with not that huge size so it's usually less than uh, 100,000 structures so it's it's a uh, it's in the uh, normal range to to handle uh, they can or, or sometimes they are also represented as a marquis structure with a the simple scaffold and and r groups we are talking about the same thing if, if you think about that We've got two example libraries that we were working on. Uh, this is the first one with 7 million structures. Uh, here you see the reaction center, which is a, a simple one, and three R group positions, uh, less than 200 uh, structures or, or R, group, uh, R groups each, but still they, they together combined uh, create several million structures. So you can see that by only a few definitions, you will get a lot of products at the end. Another example library based on a reaction, we've got only uh, 40,000 reactants for each position. That is, that is um, not much for, for, for a search engine, but together the 1.6 billion structures, yeah, that, that's, that's very, very um, large. So we wanted not to store all the structures, but only the, the reactants and the reaction center and, and do a, a search based on them. So when we are searching on a, an, on a data set like this, we are searching always on the product space, the whole product space. And the important search types are substructure and similarity. The, these are the most relevant ones. And we need some kind of sorting method because we don't want to return all the structures. It, it doesn't make sense to, from, for example, from the 1.6 billion structures to return, uh, let's say, 1 billion. It doesn't make sense. You just want to see a few, uh, a hundred, a thousand, not more. But these should be the most relevant ones. So that's, that's, the, that's the aim here. And usually we, we don't want to combine it with, with other conditions like in a, in a relational database, just go for the most relevant structures here. And our proof of concepts that I will demo uh, today, uh, we've got three of them because they are based on, on, on different technologies, uh, I will show them one by one. The first is a lead to algorithm that is that was not uh, invented by Camaxon. We just implemented it's a it's a similarity based algorithm. Algorithm uh, you can use it. We used it with a uh, chemical hash fingerprint to to sort, uh, and it's based on combining only the most similar reactants. So not all of them, just, uh, just a few segments of them, which make the most similar products uh, combined. Uh, the next algorithm is based on Markush analysis. Uh, it's also a similarity algorithm. Uh, and the sorting method is different here, the maximum common substructure. It was, it was, 
developed by Camexon internally, the whole algorithm. And it is an enumeration of the Marquee structure, just it, it's, it's directed in a way that uh, we, we go for the only, uh, for the enumerants that are the most relevant for, for, for each enumeration set. The third one is a substructure algorithm, and the key point is that is that the sorting is based on a, on similarity, the chemical hash fingerprint similarity. So you get the most relevant hits here as well. It it is also invented by Chemexon, the the whole algorithm, and uh, as far as I know, nobody uh, ever managed to make a substructure search in a rule based uh, data set. It's based on, on uh, slicing the queries to some small fragments, and each of the slices are substructures for, for each reactant position. So it's, it's again a very different algorithm from the previous two. And uh, we've got a, a, a demo server, a, a Marvin Live demo, because Marvin Live is a, is a good tool to demo these. Uh, these products uh, and it is working on a on a single instance so uh, so on a very small it, it would even uh, work on a, on a laptop as well so let's see the demo now so I hide myself for the uh, just to see the whole screen now this is Marvin live and you can throw your structures here first I saw uh, I show you the leap to similarity that, that you see on the, on the right side. And when you draw your structure uh, in a few time, you will get the results on the, on the right side. Uh, you can set which reaction do you use or, or which kind of rule-based set. We've got one and two. You can use them separately, like you are uh, searching on one set or, or, on the, or another and you will get the results according to that. And you always get the, the most similars first uh, according to the, to the lead to method. And we show the first 10 structures. You, you see a very small duration. Uh, the, the drawing of the molecules here takes most, more time than the search itself. So this, this is one type of search. And we've got the other methods as well. We've got the, the, the MCS, the, the Marcus analysis based search as well. It takes a bit more time and it gives um, different results. And I suggest um, trying them out uh, to, to see which, which uh, shows better hits, which is the, the, the better similarity algorithm in your case, you can you can set the reaction here as well to to search on, uh, and and the third one is just like the same. Uh, I will show you if, if this finishes. It takes about nine seconds. I, I close this and now I add the substructure search, and the substructure search has has other options as well. We've got a not sorted one. This is probably the less uh, interesting. There is a one that that is by relevance, so it's the hits are sorted by relevance, and um, uh, it's a it's a it's a perfect relevant calculation. So so it's it's the same as if you enumerated the whole uh, structures, and sometimes it's slow. Now it's five seconds. It's it is it, it, still um, easy to wait for that, but but for some reason, for some cases, it might be uh, might take lo longer time. Uh, the the hit as you draw feature, so as you draw, you get the results without without any clicks. It works here. So if it takes too much time, you there is an estimated relevance which combines the, the quickness of the not sorted case with the, with, the, with the relevant sorting. So it's sometimes in somewhere in between. And these hits are also, the, the, 
are superstructures of the original query that you draw and you can draw your query uh, as you want, sorry. I wanted to draw it like this. And uh, soon you will get the, get the hits. Oh, no hits here. Anyway, it, uh, it is a perfect start to, to try it out on, on this demo page. And please uh, just contact us to, to try it out with your data as well. So that's, that's, the, that's the demo page. And let's go on with the presentation. And if you liked our demo and you were interested, uh, here are the algorithms. I've, I've got a few more si slides for the algorithms, uh, which I won't show you now. Just just pop it up if you are interested. We can talk about it or, or you can speak speak with us about them later. We've got some measurements for for uh, for each of the each of the demo algorithms. Uh, so. We are still looking uh, to forward to working together with you with, uh, in improving this. And we are very curious how it would work with your data, not just uh, ours, but, but yours as well, because it can be different. So uh, it would be very interesting to see uh, if we can get the same results with your data. And I want to highlight that Meg McCarrick will have a uh, a nice presentation tomorrow about uh, about a similar topic, the the virtual libraries. There are uh, some overlapping with with what I demoed, but it's a, it's from the from a more scientific viewpoint. So so uh, I advise you you to uh, stay for for that as well. And thank you very much.